Hello, everybody. This is Romeo Santos. <laughs> so nasty. You know who it is. Let me find out. You know, it's your boy. And I'm here on this illustrious show to announce that I'm now the CEO of Rock Nation Latino, y'all. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Thank you. Please stop applauding. Yo, uh, this is Bodega Boys episode 26 or some shit like that, right? Jesus? Yes. Excellent. I'm the bachata star of the world. Jesus is here. Meryl's here. Victor's here with his LG phone. Shit is for Gilzy. Yo, let's get it, baby. Run the music. Run the music. I'm getting zestier by the minute. Let's go. Episode 26, Bodega yeah. Boys in the building live from Red Bull Studios what? to the drop. What? Live from Red Bull Studios, New York. It's your boy DJ's Nice, aka Young Chipotle, aka Pocket State Fat Like Terio, aka Crip Raps, Poor Sling Dick, aka Butchos Butchos Gully, aka Slow But I Might Know Your Bitch, aka Eli Lippy, aka Young Green Room, Young Day Party, DJ's H Fuego, aka Milova Zeta 94 in Nueva York. Put some horns behind that. Damn, niggas don't even got enough merch to put all those names on, nigga. Oh my god. I got, more, boy. I got more names than a Brooklyn nigga on a date. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Hell of the rumors time. God, run every card, Yo, ma. My pieces is hit. Yo, it's your boy, the kid, Barrow, a.k.a. My pieces is hit, a.k.a. Young Dude Rag Flap, a.k.a. Baby Newport, a.k.a. Mm-hmm. East Street, my Stevie B, nigga. Yeah. A.k.a. If you see me in Target with my C's, don't look at me directly, don't, nigga. Not directly. Approach him from a from side, side angle, angle like a bear. Nicole. Don't startle him. He's on mad Zanny bars. Please play dead. He'll throw his baby at you. See you see me with a can of pizza, pizza rolls. Pizza rolls don't even come in a can. I got him, though. He getting from Williamson no That's now. right Yo A lot happened this CB2. week Every Yo The weekly art Live from 220 yo. West 18th Street Yes Red Bull Love Listen to the crystal clear clarity Oh man You can hear the mouth feel Oh my god We're literally just talking about that We're literally you just talking about that But we're gonna talk about sounds. A lot of stuff yeah. Off the rip You didn't I don't know if you heard this Yep On a, a new segment we call It's great to be white Oh shit The Chewbacca mom it's great to be white. It's great to be white. I'm just living my life. Just great to be white. Past the mayo. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> so Why the Chewbacca mom, in the head? yeah, <laughs> the Chewbacca mom, the lady who I guess I don't I didn't find this funny, but she had on the Chewbacca mask and was laughing in the car. That viral video a that couple weeks it? ago. She was yeah, just laughing. off of that, she went. To, she got on Ellen. Wow. She's made over four hundred thousand dollars wow. in money and gifts, including a trip to California, Disney World, com- college scholarships for her and her whole entire family. Wow! Off of that one video, wow. and then today it turned out she's charging people twenty dollars a pop for autographs. Wow! Wow! You know how many videos Tiana Trump had to make? You know, you know, you know she don't charge. She she's not a, she's not doing it like y'all. Four hundred thousand. I had to see her deep thick deep thick of throat. You know what I'm saying? All right? And if uh, I meet her, I'm sure she's very humble. She's not gonna be nice. like twenty dollars for me to sign the, nah, your chest. Fuck out of here. Uh, she be like, yo, give me that eight by ten. Nigga. I signed it twice. She's like, yo, you want to be on my snap right now? <laughs> <laughs> right in the middle of the parking lot. I'm like, yo, I'm, it's, it's it's lit. Yo, let's get it. Throw yo, it, shout out to all the sponsors. Uh, Red Bull, of course. <laughs> oh, shit, we put this other way. K2, <laughs> Zika, ISIS. I don't think Zika and ISIS are. I think it was Zika's vaccine and not ISIS. Zika, let me tell you something. Zika is a government plan. Is it? It's a government plan. Is Please, this a hot take? It's a hot fuego take. <laughs> Get ready. Yo, Zika is built by the government. Why? You know what I'm saying? Because every year, think about it. Every year, it's a fucking weird flu virus, dog. And right? I know SARS, viruses mutate. Bird flu. You tell me. Zika. You could grow an ear on a rat, but you can't find a fucking vaccine for the flu that mutates every year. Hmm. 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 If you have a background in medicine, highlight me. Let me know. Let me know what's up. Wow. Put this other way. Okay, well, that was a that was a pretty hot take from Miro. Miro's accusing the U.S. government of manufacturing chemical warfare you for genocide. Know. Chemtrails. What's chemtrails? Shout out to chemtrails. That's uh, when the plane passes by. That white shit behind. That it, white shit behind it. Now people will tell you that's water vapor. <laughs> Yeah, all I mean, right. Yeah, and jet fuel, blah blah blah, steel beams. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, listen, I'll be a third it eye. Could be, it could be vapor. You know the thing is, the thing about conspiracy is you don't have to prove it, yeah. but if you just know of it, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yo, you gotta be woke. Listen to this: if you can make up any conspiracy, if you throw the shit on YouTube mm-hmm. and throw like the unsolved mysteries type music behind it, the slow motion, good money. Flip it, flip dun, the dun, dun, initial dun, dun, screen back and forth, a little dun, black and white. Dun, 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 you know, I got a couple, dun, 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 I got a couple of hot take you know conspiracies. Not really. My hit you niggas with the HD conspiracy theory video. Let's talk about. Some of the industry plants. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Who is it that they said? Uh, <laughs> who's the industry plant? 
Who's it? Nigga said Rory's an industry player, but he's a cool guy. I heard guy. that. I met him. We met him yeah, and his mother. At, at the Woody's. So, so, yo, but you, you know, now I think about mom, it. I fuck with you. Now I think about it, though. That's very convenient. Right. Because they, the Illuminati knew the Bodega Boys was going to be the most popping podcast before we brought it back. That's true. So they positioned Rory and his ah, mother for us to run into them. And now we're talking think about, about it. it. Now the wave think is going to crescendo. Like, see? Wow. You see how the see? devil doesn't sleep? See? <laughs> see? Oh, the devil's like Wendy Williams. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Wendy. Shout out to French Montana, Wendy Williams. I was so proud. Dog. I was so proud. Shout out to the so Bronx. Proud. Shout, shout out to, to the Bronx. Shout out to French Montana. They got shot I in the head. Now it. he's on the couch. <sighs> hey, all, all white looking like an angel. <sighs> and a one mumbling one angel. Yes. And, and one off the, the the limited edition friends and family white Yeezys. Nigga, looking Ooh. like the flyest disorderly at Montefiore, nigga. With the iciest watch. Oh, my God. French came up. French, the underdog came up. I feel like... Our story is much like French. We did not get Absolutely. shot in the head. We Absolutely. just, you know, I had a. Uh, you know what I'm saying, I had a my shoulder. I had shoulder pains. Shoulder pains. When I joined MTV too, so okay, you know, I had so a bad I, back. Yeah, yeah. So we both. I you fucked know, my knee up. We're both saying. injury prone. Yeah, a lot you of people, because you don't have a healthy diet in the the Bronx. No, you can't. There's no food pyramid. Another another conspiracy, man. Mm-hmm. Another conspiracy. It's easier and cheaper to buy Star Crunch <laughs> than it is to buy a fucking head of lettuce. You know what I'm saying? Or kale. Right. You feel me? Yeah. That's why. I, the devil is trying to poison you, brother. You know what they call kale? In and my, you're poisoning you yourself they call, willingly. You know what they call kale in my local sea <laughs> town? Gay lettuce. Gay lettuce? <laughs> <laughs> yo, this nigga wants some, yo, get this nigga some gay, gay lettuce, lettuce, my nigga. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, damn. Nah. That's fucked up. Nah, that's fucked up. Nah, that, that, Kale's out. No, right. you know what's fucked up? My local sea town. Oh yeah, no, nah, because I it. could. I got. I got a car now, so I could like go to yeah. the nicer stopping shop mm-hmm. that has a cheese you gotta, island. You have to do that. Did you? There's little kids in the Bronx that don't know there's over 500 types of cheese. No idea. That's so sad. There's more cheese types than there is species. Of I'm gonna beetles. start a charity, a cheese awareness for inner city youth. That'll be lit. That's gonna be my J Lo. That'll be lit. I'm gonna Except get mad like, white people to <laughs> donate to it. Like, yo, I'm doing good. <laughs> you have like mad obese lactose intolerant kids yo, all over the that's South what Bronx. I'm saying. You don't fucking the, <laughs> the piano district littered <laughs> with obese little Spanish kids. Yeah, you already know. <laughs> Flatulent little kids. Niggas is all lactose intolerant. Me. White people love cheese, but everybody else lactose wild lactose intolerant. I uh, eat half a thick ice cream and be fucking paying for it later. Uh, I'd rather get waterboarded nigga than eat a whole ice cream cone. Well, you know why white people aren't lactose intolerant. Like, because they live in the mountains. The mountain, the Caucasus Mountains. Yeah, they suckle the goats. Of bears. They made goat milk. <laughs> <laughs> Turned it curdled because they didn't Yo. have they didn't have refrigeration <laughs> until 1992. This is quickly becoming the fucking. This is the black the Yakub episode. <laughs> this is Yakub's like we're exposing the Zionists. Oh so shit! All right, that's crazy. Oh man, there was a Kanye riot. Oh man, I was actually listen. You gotta do. We gotta do the weekend recap. How mm-hmm. was your weekend? She was pretty lit. Um, you know what's crazy? I come back on a Monday and I'm like, what did I do this weekend? I, sometimes I can't remember because I'm just like, I automatically as soon as I hit smack the city. door and yeah, Friday I'm smacked. I'm smack chilling. City. I'm just smack, like, yo, smack everything's city. just like a ill blur of like watching, playing, get something going outside, eating food. Food is the best part when you, um, for me on the weekends. Okay. I just go out to eat shit and just like, okay, okay I'll look at this. Yeah, was this, that? what is this again? Non bread? Oh man, this is so lit. You know what I'm saying? It's the Ethiopian restaurant? I don't even know. Wow. I just be eating bad. everything, yeah. Yikes. Now I was out in Philly. Shout, shout out to shout, Philly. Shout out to Pretty Tony. Shout out to Philly. Dave. Shout out to the Eagles. As soon as I got there, I got my mandatory cheesesteak. True. As is the custom. True. I kicked the Liberty Bell. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 nah, Philly's cool. Philly has mad alleys, like in Center City, that you could just go in the back and blow it down. That's crazy, like, yeah. yeah. But Or you probably shouldn't go there when it's mad dark also. But, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Don't, don't do that. It's cool. Roots Picnic was lit. Yeah. Uh, they weren't searching people, which is a little, <laughs> the problematic light went on. But I was in VIP, so I was like, I'm protected. Uh, you know, shout out to my, uh, little Loki. I, I, I brought my shooter, Steph B. Moore. She had the she oh, had, shit. She had the oop. Anyway, future his set, his set got cut short. He had a terrible weekend. Bro. Yeah, he had a terrible weekend. Terrible. His- Governor's ball shit didn't happen, <laughs> and that's what happened to the Kanye riot. Oh, you supposed to be a governor's ball too? Yeah. Oh, Wait, I thought no, it was just summer jam. Summer jam. Excuse me, I'm getting the place. Look, there was too much. There's going too on much this shit weekend. going on. Yeah, there's that's how I was like. I'm, I'm going in my bunker. That's like, yo, there's way too much going on. Like yeah. how, like how are you supposed to do it all? You can't. I'm trying, man. You can't. I'm trying. Young it's Day Party is out here. Yeah. And you saw I was taking a lot of photos. 
at the Roots picnic with black women. True. Okay. I'm out here. I love all, Solidify. all races. Nah, I was hugging people. <laughs> I was going off that nutcracker. I was taking mad photos and shit. Oh, boy. Niggas was like, Jesus. I was like, ah. Yeah, it was good. That yeah. shit felt like a family reunion and yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm having say, like, if you pull up and Jesus sounds like Nori, he's fucking drunk. I was drunk. He's like, like, I will, yeah, I was I will good. Easily, yeah, yeah. I'll easily have the 45 minute conversation with you. <laughs> Like, have you ever had a conversation? Like, they come over excited to me, and I'm talking to them so long. Like, they're like, "Yo, I, I, I gotta go." Yo, shout out to Shorty that was like, "Yo, hit me up," being like, "Yo, I'm dead. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad." The black dude from Bodega Boys curved me at Pizza Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was like, "What? What do you mean?" I what? was like, "No, nah, that nigga was drunk. He was just floating around like a ghost." Uh, it might have happened. He's not responsible for his actions. I mean, I'm not. I, 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 listen, Young Day Party is not really out here for the maiden season. You know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> It's all Sumner 16. Yeah. You, gotta, you know, you got to stay unattached and just float through the world, baby. Yeah. Yo, just because we talk regular doesn't mean niggas, you're getting curved. You know what I'm saying? Like we get curved. You know what I'm saying? You, the, the whole thing about a curve. A curve is what? A wave. You just got to ride it you like a wave, like yeah. a surfboard, dog. That's it. That's That's it. it. Eventually. Because at land. the end of the curve, it's going to be more kinetic energy. And yeah. the thing is, the brand is strong. Wow. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> the curve, and there's a lot of waves. So, <laughs> <laughs> we'll be fine, nigga. <laughs> No stress over here. No pork on my fork either, black man. <laughs> Yo, shout Yo. out to Tom Brady. Speaking of pork, though. Wait. <laughs> which, one, which one are we going with here? You want to go with the pork thing, or can we explain the Tom Brady shit? What, the, tell me about Tom Brady. Tom Brady fucks with Dart. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, uh, shout, so to shout to TB. You know all what I'm right. saying? The greatest QB all ever right. of all times. Keep deflating them balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. I was going to go for pork. Your pork. From pork, my man's... In our beloved hometown of the Bronx, BX all day. I know. Oh, I see. Oh, <laughs> I see where you go with this. That's good. Who, who fucking abused his pork roll to the point where he perished? He my nigga? perished. My man died. A worker at a Bronx hospital. Wow. Died at wow. work while jerking off, while <sighs> pulling his string or while illy. <laughs> okay? Yo. While scrubbing the view bar in quick time. <laughs> What's your favorite euphemism for jerking off? For jerking off? To me, is For I'm saving money by... For, for joining Geico? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my favorite shit is getting money. I don't know why. Getting money? Getting money. He's or like, yeah, I expect to get money because I automatically picture myself jerking off with get money instrumental playing in the background and to me that's hilarious wow you know what i'm saying but don't picture me jerking off stop wow how stop. listen like what you gotta hear both sides but you know boom 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 I'm saying he's just a beat me. I mean, just beating his beat to fucking Faith Evans and Fat Man Scoop. Nah, like, what's going? How hard was he beating his meat? That's what I'm saying. Like, I guess does it get unsafe to as I get older to beat your meat? He had two windows open. He had. What you two with the open play Waka Flaka hard in the paint and then he had the Pino shit open. Like how hard? And he was just like boom, 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 boom. Sometimes like sometimes you watch your Pino and that shit like from what the thumbnail is and then what actually happens, it gets a little more intense. It gets more intense so maybe, yeah, yeah. You know, maybe he's just trying to stay on beat. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you know what I feel really bad for? The person who found him. Fair. Cause like what if that's your man? Oh. Now you find him, his dick is all flaccid oh, now. No. Like his little, pants is off. One little, hand, like they got little, one leg his pants off. <laughs> a little jizz coming oh, down. No. <laughs> You're like, yo, Tony? Tony? To oh, oh. Tony, why you got a sock on your dick, Tony? <laughs> Tony, wake up. <laughs> what if he was like the wild freak and he brought like a fleshlight from home? Because no. <laughs> I feel like if you're jerking it wild illy at work. At work. You're going to bring toys yeah. and shit. You're like, already at levels that most niggas ain't at. I, have you ever jerked it at work? Never. You worked at a school. So I worked at a I, school with kids. I'm I was glad like, you yo. said no because I'm pretty sure that's a sex crime. Yo, that is absolutely a sex crime. I was oh like, yo, God. I couldn't even think. I, all the time, people, like, people always say like think of the worst shit. Like I would think of like. You know those videos, those terrible PETA videos where they like kill animals and mm -hmm. shit? Every time I would start to get horny at work, I would, or think about, be thinking about smashing or whatever, I would think about that video of the little chickens in the meat grinder that yeah. they just throw in the meat grinder and just like, mm -hmm. boner gone. Oh my God. Immediately. So thank you, PETA, for helping me not be uh, Jared. At my college internship was like for, it wasn't really a porno company, but it was like right. an early kind of match.com. But you were like, so it's kind of like, yo, yeah, jerk off work. It, but it was, it was like more for like more direct, like yo, like freaking whatever, like yeah. early Tinder, I guess. Hey. And so you'd go, you'd have to like scroll through all these submitted photos and shit, and there was like mad fucking naked photos. And like I'm fresh out, of, I'm f like I'm still in college, <laughs> so I'd be sitting in that office just looking through them, like my khakis. 
<laughs> with the pants tape? <laughs> yeah, it was just like, yo, it was like, and it had like this nice building. It was like down by, I want to say like Rector Street or some shit. It was like yeah. down there and yeah. shit. And dog, I was like, yo, I got to go beat my meat in the fucking bathroom. <laughs> And I got in the bathroom and I sat down and I was like, yo, what am I doing? What am I doing here? I was like, what am I, is my, what's going on with my life? What's, where am that I? Was, I've had several very low points and that was one of those like Charlie Brown music like, gotta do better, Jesus. Yo, oh my this God. Can't, this can't, this is not like, <laughs> I just heard this can't be life <laughs> but be seeking with Jay-Z. <laughs> Muhammad Ali died. Damn. Damn. Hey, he's shaking like Ali holding a torch. Wow. Shot the Jada for the hardest bar. Mm -hmm. But it was like a sad Ali bar. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't like I float like a butterfly. I was like, nigga, I got Parkinson's. Yeah. Did he have Parkinson's? I think it was Alzheimer's. Damn. It doesn't matter now. Al Alzheimer's make you shake? I thought it was a Michael J. Fox shit. No, Parkinson's make you shake and the hot hand in a dice game. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Me running up on you with the Tracy code, nigga. <laughs> okay, I'm, okay. I'm, being, I'm being informed the, the problematic light has okay. been turned oh, on. Oh, okay, oh, we'll tone hey. it down. Sorry about that. Hey. <laughs> no, everyone loves Muhammad Ali now. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, everyone loves Muhammad Ali. Yeah. We're going to do this when Floyd Mayweather dies. Everybody's, yeah. And everybody's going to talk about how he was beating yeah. shit out of people. Because Twitter's not going to exist when Floyd Mayweather no. dies. No. I feel like Floyd got at least 20, 30 years. No, I mean, like, even if Floyd Mayweather, well, if he died this year, yeah, they bring up, like, all the, like, Of course. And shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, 20 years. 20 years? Nah. Yeah. No way. All right. When he's, like, sitting courtside with Roy, Roy Jones is fucked up, like, <laughs> and he's sitting next to him doing, like, commentary, like, um, um, the, when well, he throw the jail, um, you know, uh, he throw the jail on the hit him, and he's going to win some round. That's Roy Jones doing the commentary, by the way. That's a good. That's a good. <laughs> Roy Jones. Wait till Roy Jones runs up on you. And it's straight like boots. Just, dumps me out because he. I think he's he's at Old Man Strength now already. Yeah, I old think Black Man Strength. Yeah, I think he got yeah. there already. Nah, I almost got into it with my pops when he was up here, and I had to remember like he's chill. He's at peak old Jamaican. Yeah. I fucking standing in the sun. Yeah, when I was ten. Yep. Straight. I can't. I can't romp with that. They made me hang the goat up. You know, what ass saying? nigga. <laughs> nah, I'm not. Listen, that's why we invented guns. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy, but you know, I made a fence around my house with cinder blocks, face ass. <laughs> you haven't lotioned my feet in thirty years. Thirty years. Think you're gonna hurt me? <laughs> I'm like, who's stomping around in Tim's? That's my feet. <laughs> Feet looking like firestones. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. So the new Steph Curry lows came out. Jesus Christ! Wow. Those Under Armour. Damn. They're trying Yo. to take. They, you know what they're trying to do? They're trying to take Nike's Air Monarch out the game and become the official white guy shoot. The All Lives Matter. Sneaker? The All Lives Matter. Like the I've I've I stand by my police fucking shoe. All that shit. That's what those niggas are trying to do. Yo, dumb shits. Look, Google them shits. What um Steph Curry and Under Armour are doing for terrible sneakers <sighs> is like what Steph Curry and them did for the NBA record. Damn, just the consistency it. is just like just unbelievable. Oh, uh, like who's wearing these sneakers? Are like if you're trying to be employee of the month at Cheesecake Factory, absolutely. And you need a non-slip grip shoes. Hell shirts. yeah. These you ain't cross sexy. The niggas up with a whole tray full of cheesecakes. Like, like, like ah, yo, come good. through with the scissor fajitas ah, ah, for forty feet ooh, out. Ooh, ooh. Would you oh, like to shit. upsell that? Oh shit, he's pulling up with the pesto pasta. Oh. Whoa, swish. No, like they look. Uh, I, wow, they're they dead, look like dude. cowboy boots for people who ride My Little Ponies. They're the mad white. Dad I don't. Shoes. They're just not. They're not appealing. I try to. If I, you look in a peep show booth. And you could see under mm -hmm. those are the shoes that are peeking out. I tried to do it. I tried to. I tried to purchase a pair of Steph Curry's. Like don't I'm like, that. don't do that. I, you know, I'm like, I'm a sneakerhead. Don't don't soil your Apparently, brands. I'm not a sneakerhead because I wasn't able to recognize you were talking about the Concords last week, where you were like, oh. you know, the sneakers with the thing. Oh, oh, because oh, you know what it is. A lot of niggas automatically when people say patent leather Jordans, I feel like those are the first ones that people think of. I don't know if they were the first because I'm not like Jordan historian, so I don't know if these were the first sneakers to use patent leather or the first Jordans to use patent leather. No, but people were like, you should have known right away. Like, off of you saying the thing with the thing. <laughs> so, shout out to you, Bodega Hive. Continue to be the dickheads that you are, but we love yeah. you. It's the Dark Knight Steph Curry's. You know what? What a We're going to release a pair of Bodega, uh, Bodega Boy Steph Curry's. <laughs> that's what you guys deserve. Yo. Have you guys looking around, See walking around like you're protecting Gotham. Nah, my nigga. Those, those, those are scuba, that's scuba gear. Don't, listen, these are not... No way. Even his face is like, yo. He's like, come on, my nigga. He's please. like, yo, they, the check cleared. <laughs> <laughs> yo, uh, him and Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson got antas. 
Steph Curry stealing his yo. Clay Thompson really was like, yo, I'm gonna come. Steph Curry, was, Clay was like, yo, oh, you gonna shoot threes better than me, my man? You gonna totally eclipse me mm-hmm. and become MVP and leave me in the dust? I'm gonna have the ugly sneaker. And Steph was like, nah, nigga, I'm gonna have the ugly sneaker and all the records. Did you see? Fuck you. Did you see Stephon Marbury's fake Yeezys? Oh, see, I gotta respect it because it's Stephon He's in Marbury. China. He's in China. You know, he, he's in China. He's been I, in China so long that that's normal. I watched him. I watched him eat Vaseline. Yep. You know what I mean. <laughs> I wa- they Listen, ran up on him yeah. on the light, the, yeah. okay, and they did not lose their life. So Steph Curry is a he's a Knicks legend. Yeah. The bar for which is extremely low. Extremely low. I am also a Knicks legend. Same. I have attended. Mm-hmm. I probably have attended more Knicks games than most players on the roster right now. <laughs> the clear Anthony early. More, yeah, <laughs> I, I know for sure. I've been to more Knicks games than Melo. I know that off the rim, okay, and I know we have the same number of rings. Yeah. So, but ask me this. Do you have the same number of hats? No, not with no. Not Mello's the hat god. Mello's the hat god. Mello's the hat. Hi. Before future, I'll say it first here on Bodega Boys official real hot take. Hot take. Mello Fuego. had the future hats before future, so y'all should be calling them Mello hats instead of future hats. They never give Mello his props. They never do. They never. Give they don't call fouls for him. Nope. He may be in the paint. That's, I feel like that's why he started rocking the headband again mm-hmm. because he's like, yo, listen Look, to me. My headband is diagonal. It's diagonal. You tell me there's no contact. My shoes are around my neck. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. but you know what Jordan saying? Brand doesn't respect them. Don't respect them. They be giving him the fucking wild, yo, Scootopia, Scootopia Zootopia, fucking, fucking tram stamp logo. I told y'all niggas, <sighs> that logo is terrible. Melo, holla at me. I'll reduce it. You see the Bodega Boys logo is f- flavor. That shit is flavor. You know what I'm saying? If, you see, if you see a sticker of it, take a picture of it. Word, because Hashtag. the stickers come off easy. Word. And also, people like just pull them off, which is I whack. feel like you know what's crazy. I feel like this is gonna sound super gas. Go ahead. Say I it. feel like it might be just like. Listeners, but they got hype. Shout out to y'all. Trying to take Being it. like, yo, oh shit, let me peel this shit off and take it home. I hope it is, but. I hope so too. You know what I'm saying? The brand is strong. It's strong. We got projects on the way. Oh, we out here. oh man. Niggas yeah. just screen. I'm not going to say too much, but niggas screen some shit that whoop. And that's all I'm going to say. Damn. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga, oh, this, <laughs> this nigga really got the loosest lips. Yeah. <laughs> See him in court one day, singing like a Tesla. Yo, card. I see the picture of that little. What is what is that meme from? It's like a kid, not a kid, but like he's a, in court pointing at somebody. Like yo, but like over pointing, like right. yo, that nigga right there, like he's pointing at, super extra. He's pointing at the teacher that molested him. Oh shit! Yeah, wow. so it's Damn. actually not that funny a meme. Damn. Actually, I just made that yeah, up. You totally made that up. See, everybody was mad Dark right Jesus now. Dark Jesus is back. Dark Every- Jesus is back. <laughs> Six hat world. Six hat world. Yeah, everybody oh was mad, God. nervous for a second. Yeah, yeah they were crying. Yeah. Shout listen, out to you. Stirring niggas' emotions. Listen, that's life. Life yeah. is about the dizzying highs, the terrifying lows, right. and the creamy middles, okay? Up, it's not all good. If right. you're having a good time, you just have to stop and say, this too shall pass. Yeah. Because that means some bad times is coming for your ass. You can say it when there's bad times, but you're not... When you say it when there's bad times, yeah. you believe it more because yeah. you need hope. Yeah. And yeah. hope is the worst drug. Oh, you were saying. And you know what the Narcan of hope is? <gasps> Reality. Ooh, bad. Put some of that in your veins. Right. See? I thought there was an intro behind that. Look at that. Look at this over here. Like, yo, this is nice. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. As always, we're live uh, at 220 West that's 18th right. Street. Rebel Studios. Yo, they got some cool shit going on here now, man. They got like some cameras set up and some wild shit. Yeah, there's like techno playing. Yeah, like, in the shit is dope. Hallway. You guys so, should come check it out. Come check it out. If we're not here, we're usually not here when you're here. Just take a picture. Yeah. You have to come here and circle the block three times and bow before uh, the studio. Mm-hmm. Like it's Mecca and them. That's right. Shout out to LeBron and them. Ah! Came well, back yesterday. Yes, yes, they did. Wow, put yes, a spanking on them boys. Oh, my God. Got ourselves a series. Yo, and then he was at the press conference with J.R. Smith and Kyrie Irving looking like fucking, uh, your honor, uh, my <laughs> the defendants are responsible young men who are working on their GEDs currently. Oh, man. <laughs> Do you stand with your, what was your prediction? Warriors uh, in five? Cavs in six. Cavs? Yeah. I said Cavs in six early. Did you? Yeah. I can go back and check. Don't lie to me. Yeah, no. I definitely said Cavs in six. I've been saying it all over Twitter. I feel like I've been consistent with that. Okay. Yeah. Cause I and, But you know what? I don't even care if the Cavs win as long as there's just an ill moment where LeBron just like flushes the shit on Curry. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, poof, it's just like, it's like, suck my dick. Suck, nigga. LeBron. I'm the illest. LeBron needs to let motherfuckers know. Listen to me, LeBron, because I know you listen to this shit. You need to just plant your feet. And let motherfuckers know you are the best fucking motherfucker to ever touch a basketball in the history of the NBA. You heard me? You let niggas know. Don't let Steph Curry eat your food, fam. You can't let it be the year of the light skin. Drake is winning. 
You know what I'm saying? Drake I understand winning. that. Drake he's winning, winning and he's unstoppable. He's a juggernaut. Steph Curry, he's got weaknesses, bro, and you need to expose them. You want to know how crazy the world is right now? You know what I'm saying? The OVO Radio episode 20 mm-hmm. is a, a Zane, Zo- Zane Lowe Zane Lowe interview mm-hmm. with Drake. I was listening to that Who shit Who is that guy? Is he, he's just a journalist he's guy? Like some guy like that. He's going to yeah. be interviewing us one day. Yeah, cool. And that Drake shit is wild inspirational. Yeah. Like the shit he's talking. I'm like, who is this Drake guy? Like yeah. he's, <laughs> this is a whole different Drake. Like he was like, he woke up like, yo, I'm the man. Like these niggas is coming at my neck and like it's war. I'm like, oh wow. I'm like, okay, okay, okay Aubrey. All right. Like, goddamn. F- f- niggas Listen, out, the game to change, man. <laughs> Nigga, I'm just flexing. The game to change. Put a beat behind that. But it's true. It's war. You gotta have. You gotta yeah. put out your best product. That's true. You competing with niggas. This is a friendly competition. It's like this. The art. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We gotta put the art. The litmus test. Yeah. The lit. Miss Tess. The litmus test. You know what I'm saying? We're out here. We got this. We, we, our, listen, our brand is so strong. It is. You don't see nobody else under, pe- underneath people's Instagrams. Like, where's art? No. Oh, where's art? Emoji, emoji, emoji. Okay. I, have, I would say that like 95% of the comments on my Instagram are emojis. We were even at the Beyonce concert. Get recognized. Yes. For the art. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all. Shout out to Beehive out there uh, at City Field. You know what I'm saying? It was Which out you there? were out there. I was out there. I went, listen, I went to the Beyonce concert. Yeah. You know, I paid my $28 for two Heinekens. Yeah. Yikes. Damn. I was like also one of the shit. only people in the stadium drinking Heineken. Everyone else was drinking like wine and shit. Oh, man. Shit was lit. They had a little vino? Of course oh, they of did. Of course they had of vino. Of course they did. Of course. And a little charcuterie. The shit was hot. All right? Damn. Shout, shout, shout out to all our LGBT people out there because yeah, they was yeah. out there heavy. heavy. It was Zest Fest. Zest Fest. The shit was lit. You man, know what I'm saying? I was looking like Russell Westbrook out there. I was bent off my Heineken's hugging chicks. Yeah. They was like, Jesus. Sure, yeah. I was there with my camo shorts. Shout out to my man who was like, yo, man, my girl saw I couldn't wear my camo shorts. Ah! <laughs> shout out to everybody that went on a date and didn't have a good time. Yo, but everyone that was there was like, like, if you was there with your girl, you knew you was going to beat it up after that shit because right. she puts you in the most romantic mood ever. Yeah. Like, if you was there, if you had bought those tickets like in February or some shit, yeah. you was cheesing the whole time because you knew your girl was about to give you that nasty <sighs> fucking sloppy toppy. Maybe it's <sighs> my birthday sex. Yeah. Like, the Beyonce f- had people in their feelings. People, couples were swaying. What? Man. Oh, man. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, yo, what is, this is lit. I'm drunk. I'm like, yo. <laughs> I'm like, this shit is fucking love. I'm like, yo, this shit is fu-. You know, I was like the old fucking Puerto Rican crackhead. I was like, this shit is fucking beautiful. Uh, my, my this shit, look. Oh, these motherfuckers in love. My baby's beautiful, don't you? Oh, my baby. I mean, look. I'm a bit of my man kissing. Uh, there's two girls over there and oh, they kissing. That. That's cool. I don't, oh, that's, that's, that. that's beautiful. It's, just, man, yeah. it's all love. Oh, my God. And then Beyonce sneezed. That You told me that and I, was, I lost my Beyonce life. fucking sneezed. And you know what? How what was this? What did it sound like? Is no, it's, the thing is like it's it. a big screen of her, right. and it's, it's showing it her like, dancing, and this is like she lifts her she lifts her wrist to her face, right. and you like paused for a wrist. second, and it was clear she was about to sneeze, and we all gasped like, <gasps> like oh shit, Beyonce's about to sneeze because you don't want to see Beyonce sneezing. What you don't want to you don't want to see that she's like a human. Yo, you don't want to see that. Like Beyonce is in perfect health; she's gonna live forever. You don't yeah. ever want you don't want any reminders of Beyonce's mortality. I mean, sneeze, you do sneeze. not want that. She makes a little pollen. You don't want that at all. You know and she saying? sneezed, and simultaneously, the whole stadium was like, "God bless you." Damn. I don't even believe in God bless you, and I said, "He said it." I said it. Shout out to you. Wow, that's crazy. And there's no video of it. She's had a scrub from the internet. Really? Well, I don't think anyone had their phone up for that part. Yo, only Beyonce and LeBron can scrub shit from the internet immediately yeah. after it happens. So I viewed that. So that's like a that's definitely a top ten moment in my life. Yeah. Watching Beyonce's Watching Beyonce knees. Like, even if I have a kid, like, you know how I feel about kids. MOB yeah. all day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Got a new thing now. COT, currency over toddlers. True. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Merch soon come. Yo, Beyonce sneezing. That's not that's a top five event in my life. That's wild. Yo, it's crazy because like I'm Beyonce sneeze, no doubt, but everybody in the entire stadium. Also, what did it sound like? It was you couldn't you couldn't hear it because she covered it was just like she's a professional. She didn't sneeze into the mic. So she like she didn't even hear a little. Tew. No. That would have been so cute. Yeah, but I mean, it'd be, like, but she did like the, her <laughs> eyes squinted. <laughs> it was cool, man. Come on, that's Bay. Uh, she put on shit. a hell of a show. Uh, yeah. And I was watching it, and I was like, I can't wait for us to rock a stadium, dog. Oh man. Because you know the career tra- trajectory. Oh yeah, man, that's next. Because you know the thing is, My I life. believe in me, and I believe in you. Of course, I believe in the brand. Gang, gang. You know what I'm saying? Other people don't believe in the brand. Fuck you. But you know, we're, we're out here flying. 
know what I'm saying? And we're gonna get to the top by any means necessary. That's right. This house in Bergen. I cut a nigga's throat. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have these twin Murcielagos. <laughs> My nephew and your son gonna be stumbling oh, out some man. bar in LA and yeah. punch a guy from TMZ. Bro, fuck you. Be lit. Damn, sorry, Van. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I can't me. punch you in the nuts. Shout out to Van. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. We're gonna make everything happen. Yeah, it's gonna I'm be gonna like, come out with my movie about slave rebellion, and everyone's gonna be like, no, don't do dog, that. Don't dog. do that. Now, it's gonna be dope because by the, like, I feel like by the time you do, like it'll be to a point where we where motherfuckers could really make an epic, right? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. some wild epic shit. You know what I'm saying? I just come through and be like, yo, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, okay, Nero smacked. No, I'm gonna make a Hamilton version of a slave rebellion. Dope. Because white people like to spend their money on shit like that, right? Uh, right, yeah, white people course. nod your head. I can't see it, yes. but you, you're like, yo, you like Hamilton. I heard it. So. It's going to just be a movie, that. and it's going to be like, they're going to be singing with machetes. Kill your master, kill all the masters. Fuck you, nigga. I don't have the tester. I'm a raster. Watch me, kill master. It's like chopping white people's heads off. And the white people dramatically die and shit. We got to get Ezra here. But we have like trap beats and shit. It's going to be lit. My other thing was the the trap version of Anne Frank's Attic, which I was told no. I was told do not even describe that. Come on, man. Nah, imagine I, I can't. Imagine, also, future, imagine future Red doing Bull that. is from Germany, so oh, where? That's okay. <laughs> let's I keep thought it was it. Sweden or Belgium. It should, it should be Actually, Belgium. no, I think it was invented in Thailand or something. Yeah, I'm looking at him like he you know. He's like, yeah, I invented he's like, Red I Bull. Just work here. I don't fucking. He's like, <laughs> I don't. He's like, my uncle invented it. My last name is Red Bull. <laughs> I come from a long line of Red Bulls. Oh shit! I wonder if I met a girl and like really. Wanted to get married, and I was like, "Yo, would Red Bull sponsor the wedding if like we jumped out the the plane and shit?" Absolutely. <laughs> I'd be like, "Yo, hell yeah, me and her, we're gonna jump off a satellite. That'd be lit. That's the Jesus challenge for yeah. the Jesus. If you want the Jesus baby, we, I guess, I don't yeah. know how the two correlate, but we're gonna, yo, right in, and we're gonna jump off a satellite together, ma. Yo, let's do it. Red Bull Bay. I'll Hashtag. Fu- I'll sort through the through the. Th- we'll, we'll, we'll find this paperwork somewhere in this office." <laughs> For their sat, it's like ten. It's like form ten forty. Yeah, yeah. For jumping download that. Like that. Download the W nine. Yeah, and then fill out the back and call us. If you have natural hair, you have to let us know because we have to get you a special helmet. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to like press it on your curl out. You know She's gonna be lit. Yeah, and we can post it on Twitter. She's just a bonnet. You can like post it on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> you can't jump off a satellite above the atmosphere in a bonnet without coconut oil. So apparently the choices are down to Hillary and Donald Trump. Damn. Yeah. Shout out to Bernie. Yo, shout out to my wife for being so white that she she I had to like really pry it out of her who she voted for. I was like, yo, we're married. We've had children. Like right. you can't just be like, yo, I voted for Bernie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Did she vote for him? Yeah, she voted for Bernie. Oh, okay. How does she feel about Hillary now? I mean, she doesn't we don't we both are like on the same page. Like, I don't love Hillary, you know what I'm saying? But, but it's like, you bang with her. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. Like it was better than Trump. Come on. Like, True. imagine I go, picture me going to fucking voting booth and pull that lever down, nigga, because we still got levers in the Bronx. Pull that fucking lever down, and it's fucking Donald Trump. Oh, man. I'll fucking feel disgusted with myself. You know what I'm saying? Unless I was rich. If I was rich, different story. Donald Trump all the way. All day. All day. <laughs> His tax breaks. Yeah, if you, that's the thing. Once you start making. If being rich forces you to be an asshole, my nigga. Yeah, because like. you, because you, when you're rich, you want to stay rich. You gotta stay rich. You're like, fuck that conscious shit. Like, yeah, Damn. kids are homeless, but like, I want this 2%. <laughs> like, Dog. Oh. Heather's Damn. getting Manny Petty's bi weekly now. She's like, I'm not going. I'm not I getting off this. I saw her toes were out yesterday. Yeah. Right? She's like, I'm not. She's like, I'm not. Nigga, this is it. I'm wow. staying here. We going up from here. <laughs> Moving on up. We should do a reboot of the Jeffersons with you and Heather. <laughs> and the boycotts after that. Yeah, boy. The whitewashing of oh, the Jeffersons. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man I'll be furious Nah it could work on ABC Family though It probably could Yeah no one watches that So like the people, who would, the people who would Boycott and protest Don't watch ABC Shout Family Shout out ABC Family I wonder what those checks are like I feel like they're They're big checks Even though nobody watches that shit Yeah Shout out to, shout to y'all well, Let's get it Soon enough <laughs> I mean damn It's Hillary now right It's gotta be But you know what Hillary Or I just feel don't like... vote Would you rather not vote Or vote for one of them too Nah you always gotta vote Right you That's your civic vote. duty I mean, yeah. Also, you got to put on Instagram and like niggas will think you're responsible. Also, also. Yeah, yeah you got to vote because I feel like one day we won't be able to vote. So Imagine Donald Trump becomes president is like, you niggas are not allowed to vote anymore. No, that, that totally could happen. <laughs> no more podcasts. We can't wear fitted caps. No! 
No sneakers in the club. No sneakers. Give me twenty dollars. Give me twenty dollars. No more Jordans. <laughs> the official, the official footwear of the United States is Under Armour. <laughs> no. We're all like in cuffs. No. We're working in the death yeah. camps at Under Armour. Damn. You know, how, stop. you know how sad Christmas is when you have to give your kid a potato and a Damn. pair of Under Armors? Yo, Under Armour, give me a million dollars, I'll rock your shit. <laughs> <laughs> I am Donald Trump, Under Armour. Yo, imagine We're Donald Trump oh, getting sworn in with a sleeveless Under Armour fucking workout shirt. <laughs> fucking run up and punch that nigga in the chest, man. Hard. Just yeah, <laughs> Steph Curry next to him, <laughs> Riley underneath. This is like a, 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 like a Under Armour unitard. <laughs> Under Armour is go- Listen, I don't. I got a hot take. <laughs> Under Armour is the Antichrist and it will bring around the downfall of America. Yo, you know what's so ill? That is true. And also, <laughs> Under Armour has the... Yo, it's the logo, my nigga. It, it is. kills everything. It is. The fucking horseshoes. Like, that shit looks... Yeah, I gotta switch it up. Listen, you can't you can't be part of Lucky Charms, my nah, nigga. Like, nah, no. <laughs> like, you can't, be, you, can't be, you can't be part of Clovers, my dude. No. You can't be a delicious marshmallow. No part way. of this balanced and complete breakfast. You can't. You know what I'm saying? You got to be some cool, like a swoosh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or some shit. Like, come on, man. The little listen, stripes. Nike, Nike be putting out some wingding McGee sneakers. Yeah, yeah. You know, some real, ter- some real terrible yeah. Victor Cruz trainer shits. Nike is like Tupac. Their fire shit is fucking fire. Right. And they they but they got so much shit that a lot of that shit is fucking trinash. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. but shout out to Nike. You know what I saying? got another hot take. If Shoot they it. really open that Prince vault. Oh, 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 niggas are gonna be sick. Listen, listen, don't Y'all shoot the messenger. Yeah, no, yeah, don't, me don't, at the roots picnic don't, with the Prince shirt. I love don't. the guy. I lo- listen, I love the guy. Love the guy. Yeah, yeah. he's but a legend. I feel like maybe some of the stuff in the vault he did not want getting out. Listen, and that's not that bad. That's not a that's not a bad thing because Prince was bigger than music, fam. You know what I'm saying? He was a cultural icon who shifted. You know what I'm saying? The paradigms of where we're at, you know what I'm saying? In terms of. You are rambling You know now. what I'm saying? In terms of culture, you know what I'm saying? In terms of. Beyonce did uh, tribute to Prince. She did? Yes, yeah, she did. You better. And she did it better than him. Whoa. <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> See me in the streets. Come fight me. Slap me in my face with a lace lavender glove. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no, I'm sorry. That's going to be sick when you're a fucking mouth the Target, like buying. So fucking soap and some nigga just yokes you up from behind. <laughs> like I hope so. Like Prince, Prince is the best nigga. You turn around, nigga got assless chaps on. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's why I practice fighting naked. Okay? <laughs> if you fight me, I'm gonna strip down naked in the yeah. street and we gonna fight. Yeah, I went to go pick this thing up yesterday. He was in his living room fighting naked with a blindfold on, <laughs> hitting a heavy bag, <laughs> punching punch the air. I didn't even hear the bell. I heard the gate open. <laughs> That's how in tune my senses are. Because yeah. shout out to the sponsor, K2. Yeah, it it turns your senses uh, up. Are, are, are they cracking down? Okay, is that, is that cracking down over? Or? I mean, it's harder to buy K2 now. I imagine I've never tried to buy it. Yeah. So I don't know. See, like if you t- if you came to my neighborhood and was like, yo, where can I buy beer? I can tell you which bodegas have beer and which ones don't. Because right. I drink beer. Right. I can't tell you which bodegas do and right. don't sell K2. Right. I am not a K2 connoisseur. Right, right. You True. know, they sponsor the podcast, but Shut you know, I don't need it in my life. You I have enough need. drama as it is. Yeah. I have enough terrifying shit going yeah. on. I don't need K2 coming in. I don't need to <sighs> I don't need to feel like my muscles can't breathe because my skin is covering it and I need to rip it off right now using a rusty spoon. That I've never heard of anybody being like, yo, I got smacked off K2 and that shit was lit. Yeah. Never. That's why I'm like, I'm not fucking with that shit. Yeah. Also, I'm like, I'm, I feel like I'm done with that type of shit. Also, you know I saying? feel like the circles we move in, like, it's a lot of hard drugs and shit. Yeah. And no one's ever been like, yo... What you know? Well, you I've, never, I've never been at I've never been at Labane and someone's like, "Yo, let's do K two. Can you do K two at Labane? That shit has like a fake grass on a ledge. Like I'm definitely jumping off and climbing down like the scorpion, jumping the pool and shit. Yeah, like January. Like, don't know how to drink. I mean, don't know how to swim and shit. It's just like fucking flopping around, yeah. screaming, lifeguard, lifeguard, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. Everyone's just standing around like, yo, yo who's man is this? Who's man is this? Who's man is this? What is he on? Is there any more of it around? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Oh man, I love that song. What's that? What is that for? Is that Jeopardy? Uh, that actually was supposed to be like a techno beat, but now that you mentioned it, that was the right? the, the, the daily, daily double, double beat. <laughs> 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 we gotta go on Jeopardy for like. Uh, can we? Are we on the wave enough that we could be on like Celebrity Jeopardy? I think sure, so. Why not? Yeah, why not? Why not? Why what, the fuck what, not? What else? What else? What else? You well, the, I see. That's the thing. I don't know. We're in that weird position where we're not like. Invisible, yeah. but we're not like known. Known. So here's my theory: 
perfect example is we both are basketball fans, right. fans of the NBA. The All Star Game, you mm-hmm. know, before the All Star Game, there's the celebrity game, right? And you know they'll have like Kevin Hart, Drake, like real A list celebrities, but then they'll have like the Property Brothers, right? You know what I'm saying? We're not more popular than the Property, Property Brothers, Brothers, right? You know what I'm saying? And then you go look, they might have like a million Twitter followers, but I'm like, I figure like this: when people know us, niggas was in a Rolling Stone fam. People know us off Twitter. People also know us off TV. People also know us off this, right? There, there are people who know about this podcast have no idea we have Twitters. True. All I've right. seen that and it bugs me it, out every it's time. It's the weirdest. People are like, you should get on Twitter. Or like, shit. you've never just gone and Googled Google Deezus Nice yeah. or The Camaro or Bodega Guess, guess what Bush? my Twitter name is? Deezus Nice? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I'm yeah. trying to make it easy for y'all. You know well, what I'm like, saying? There's people on Twitter constantly like, oh shit, you guys have a podcast? Oh shit, you're on TV? You like, know what I'm saying? That kind All of shit. shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I figure we're out here. Shout out to the weird Viking dude that stopped us and was like, yo, you guys are mad funny on Guy Code. And we're like, what? I was like, yeah. We were on this shit for like eight minutes. Like two years ago. But yeah, we're out here. So we're listen. We're gonna be a celebrity. Listen, somebody at GQ. I know you're hearing this. Put us in the no, not in it. Put us on the cover yeah. of your comedy. Yo, issue. look. You this see is the, not. Yeah. We're not begging. No. All right. We're just telling we're, you, like that's what. Don't she, make us run up in do. the GQ office. Yeah. You know like, what I'm saying with the chopper. You know what I'm saying. You know who the sponsor is. That won't end well for y'all. You know what I'm saying. Yo, it'll be crazy because they should definitely like we got a we got like the spread in timeout. Very we did. Late. You know what I'm saying? 100 percent pickup rate, by the way. You mm. know what I'm saying? So sold out everywhere. Everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Shout out the timeout. Shout out the timeout. Shout out the the timeout. curb jumping you know on saying? that wave early. True. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So People GQ, y'all really just get with the get with the shits. Okay, because I'm I, pretty I, sure we've already done shit for GQ. I think we did the NBA's with like some playoff. Yeah, we did some, some stuff shit. from digital stuff, but we need to be in print. In print. Because people say print is dying. Guess who could save nope. it? Nope. Us. Us. You nigga. know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know the strength of the brand is astronomical. The brand is very strong. Astronomically. How is uh anatomically? How, how is the young rookie doing in T-ball? Oh, yo, he's out here. You know Down what I'm here? saying? Played the Cubs the other night, s- smashed them. Yeah. 3 for 3, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Single every time, of course, cuz it's T-ball. Are you <laughs> <laughs> Are you, do you bring like a trumpet to the games? <laughs> nah, but it's crazy because like it's it's very relaxed, you know what I'm saying? So like th- there's other dads on the field like mm-hmm. cheer, like literally standing 3 or 4 feet away from the kids like, "Yo, dude, like this." So when he goes up to bat, I'm like, "Yo, stand up, hold your bat like this." Pick it up, you know what I'm saying? Choke, because he's small. You know what I mean? He's like 40 inches tall. Pause. So, and the bat is like, uh, it's the smallest bat there is, but mm-hmm. it's still a little big for him. So he has to choke up on it a little bit and like stand in a certain way. You know what I'm saying? But he's he's definitely American League all the way because he does not want to play the field. He's like, yo, I don't want to, I don't care about yeah. catching and throwing. Nigga, I'm trying to hit and run. Okay. I respect you know that. So, I respect yeah. the DH. You know what I mean, yeah. you know what I'm saying I was never a big fan of the National League. You know what I'm saying, yeah, that small whole, ball. You know what I'm saying? The whole I got a pitcher stool. I, I, I got to pitch and I got to run. Yeah. What? What? Yo, y'all really disrespected my man Bartolo making him hit and pitch. You know what? But he's out here raking. Every time people say about the National League is better, I have three words for you: Ching Ming Wong. Ooh, okay, bitch. That golden boy. <laughs> He's pitching for the Yankees. Pitching for soup. Goes to one fucking interleague game. Doesn't know how to round the bases. Yeah. Steps down wrong. Coming home. Yeah. Never the same. Why are you having pitchers run? Do you want? Do I want to see CC Sabathia sliding in the third? No. No, I want to so see I him. I have a panic attack. I want to see him on a balcony in France smoking the wild blood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't even want to see him on the pitchers mound with his fucking. Well, his ERA is actually kind of low right now. I think it's he the lowest. He's not getting the run support since. he needs. Yeah, he really. Come on, Yankees suck, man. But it's but hey, we're riding with him. But see, the Yankees sucking is like a bad blowjob. Yeah, you know, it's still the Yankees. Yeah, it's still the Yankees. It's yeah, still no. the Yankees. Name they, another you know, team that you could rock. You could proudly like, regardless if the Yankees are in last place, you could still rock a Yankee fitted hat oh, and have yeah. niggas on your dick. Yeah, true. true Go true. to Atlanta and you want to talk about pull up with a brands. Yankee hat and actually have a Yankee accent. Well, you pull up in the gas station oh, and niggas move apart to blow your car through because they're filming a vine. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> like you're gonna meet a chick, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You pull up to the car, you just hit, yup, yup, yup. I'm like, what the fuck is that? You turn around, there's four <laughs> niggas in emoji sweatsuits doing a dance on a hoverboard. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty inch ribs on the fucking. He's on the, doing the dolphin on the, dance, like oh, <laughs> dolphin, dolphin, dolphin. <laughs> Yo, shout out to ATL, man. Shout out to Atlanta. Oh you know what fuck. Saying? A <laughs> town, like, yo, they're like, yo, you, you at the wrong gas pump. This one's for forty two inch rims and better. <laughs> Hose is dumb long. They, they, they got a ladder by the pump so you can climb up to the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> she got a line on the way. <laughs> yo, yo, shout out to that nigga Fila. Fila forever, nigga forever. I love that. Oh man, hey. shout out to the Dungeon Family and all y'all. Shout out to Lil John, huh? Hey. 
Yo, yo, that's crazy. But yeah, nah, American League all day, man. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Had to button that up. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was a good button up, man. Button up and I ain't never shutting up. Nah. Uh, oh, shit. We about to freestyle? I think we those, got everything. Big those... Shut the door to the hot nigga beat on. We freestyle for like 12 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Nick Cannon freestyling. Uh, I think what was it, Tim Westwood? Yeah, Tim Westwood. with the whole, the whole, with the whole gang, the whole gang. Hitman conceded. The DC, DC, the Hispanic monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to the Wild Now crew. Yeah, Carlos, uh, True. Uh, Darren. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, uh, what's the Doughboy, Doughboy. Everybody out here, you know everybody, what I'm the whole Wild Now gang. We was out there with you them. Know what I'm saying, shit. incredible shit. crew. But no, uh, Nick Cannon will say he will battle anyone for a million dollars. True, he's trying to get hundred thousand, hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill, 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 chill. <laughs> don't let them, don't make that nigga lose Radio Shack. He just got it. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga got like three Marshall Lagos. He gonna go to a million. <laughs> Yo, Nick, have us as like your your corner boys. Yo. Yeah. You know I'm with I mean? it. Yeah, dog. We'll coach you and shit. Imagine like, like you gotta cut Nick Cannon's eye open during a rap battle and shit. <laughs> Spread the bad bass lead on his face. Spin the bucket, Nick. Spin the bucket. Spin the bucket. This is an incredible Don't bucket. Don't blow your nose. <laughs> <laughs> how many how many fingers do you see? How many butt? Stick with the jab. Stick with the jab. It's like he's like on the <laughs> ground, knocked out. You said they're like one, two, you're like, Nick, get up. Wild in. Wild in. Bump, 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 bump. Shout out to y'all, man. Uh, oh man. Yeah. Hundred thousand dollars to battle Nick Cannon. Hundred thousand. But see, He's only gonna take established rappers. Yeah, he's not gonna take like nah. little Trey Trey from fucking big no, houses. No way. I no mean, way. I get it, but you know what it is. Facts don't matter. But here's some not facts. Uh, this is this is not niggas think he's gonna give you like he's gonna pull up to battle you with his briefcase with a hundred thousand right. in it, and if you beat him <laughs> by crowd reaction, you get a hundred thousand. That's not what's happening. No, no. Whoever wins this money, that money is going to a children's hospital. Like y'all niggas ain't getting this money. So, <laughs> so like, all you niggas on Twitter shit. that's like, yo, fa- fabulous is gonna roast you. Yo, Cassidy's gonna roast you. This guy, it's it's for fucking kids with like missing limbs. You know what I'm saying? It's not like it's not for you to buy. See, that's put like on your a good. Label. That's like a good thing, but yeah. not nah, like I'd rather have a million dollars in my pocket. Let yeah. me decide. If yeah. maybe I want to give the Children's Cancer Hospital ten thousand dollars, you know what you know what charity I want to donate to, nigga? Meryl's kids. Meryl's kids. Yeah. <laughs> That's the charity I'm donating my hundred k to. If I beat you, oh. But hey, you know what I'm saying? Nigga's Damn. always for the kids, man. He's a good guy. A million dollars. Million dollars. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Whatever. <laughs> I, I, that's yo, a million to me My head yo. is fucked up You know what Again I was listening to that OVO sound <laughs> show with Drake And he was like Yo I, If you want my house 100 million right now <laughs> Nigga what What <laughs> Nigga what A hundred Dog I'm trying to move Into a new apartment Wow He said 100 million right now Because you know, the line Where he's like Yo my pool is bigger Than Kanye's pool I'm Not saying that it's he, His house The person that The house he lives in now In Calabasas mm-hmm. Where we Listen mm-hmm. I might Listen that might be my new goal To move Who, there and be friend, a yeah. um, What do you say The previous owner of the house Wanted the pool bigger than the pool In the Playboy Mansion So that's why the pool And the pool just happens to be bigger than Kanye's pool <sighs> And he's like, this, what, what and was he said Kanye's line? pool is like at least half a football field long. But what was the actual line? He said like, yo, my cotton pool's bigger than Kanye's. Not saying that it's something. Like he's like, not trying to play Kanye or whatever. It's, pretty, it's a very clever line. Yo, but um, what we got to do is, because yo, speaking of Calabasas and about rich niggas moving there, French Montana just moved there. He was on Ellen. Peace it. He says, now I, got a, now I got a house in L.A., now I got a bigger pool than Jay. Oh, I used to want to be in Rockefeller, and I turned into Jay. Now I got a house in LA. Now I got a bigger pool than Ye. And look, man, Ye's pool is nice. Mine's just bigger, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Nigga, I, can't, oh, I can't wait. I gotta get to that Come level, on. man. I Come can't on. go back. I can't retract. Yo, you, know how, sick you, I'm you ready be? for a hot take? You know how sick I'm gonna be if next summer I have to fill up a little fucking plastic yeah. pool from Toys R Us from yeah. my neighbor, from my nephew, and like fill it with garden water. <laughs> At like 9 a.m. and the then heat pool. up the kitty pool. Damn. Damn. Like, son. yo, I gotta fill it up early so it gets warm, warm. by noon. Yeah. Kid, Damn. And you're putting the water wings on, but the kid can't drown. He can't drown at all. This is sad. He can't drown at all. He, gotta, he gotta try to drown. Kids are running through the sprinkler with water wings. Yeah. Damn. Why? Why are you sliding them? Yo. Why are you always Shout lying? out to Fairy Point Park. Shout out to Thrax Lake. Oh, so you take your kids? Yeah it's, yeah. it's in the projects, literally in the projects, but it's a nice, they got, but they got the little ground sprinklers. That shit is like, damn, we in the hood. It's like, it's like, please don't, turn, please don't open a fire hydrant. We right. got you. We got this little shit right here. No, I know. I found a very nice, quiet beach. You got to pay to get onto it. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. I don't want to say it because I don't want you. Don't uh, blow it up. I don't want you pox coming there. <laughs> okay. I don't. If you're not aware what a pock is, is a person of color. Woo! Okay. Woo! Introducing new slang. Yeah. You can use that right there. Yeah. It's like, yo, that's my pock <laughs> over there. 
But yeah, I don't want your pox over there. Hey, high take. Okay. In terms of bragging rap that makes you feel like, damn, son, I'm about to get, I'm trying to get rich. Drake is the new Jay Z. Definitely. Like when Jay Z was like, yo, what's the difference between a 4.0 and a 4.6? About 10 grand, cocks like a beat it? Yeah. 30 grand, whatever. That's, that's the, that's the type Drake of feeling has, that Drake gives you now when he says shit like, my pool's bigger than yeah, you're not saying that it's whatever, right. blah, blah, blah. Drake has attainable goals. Yeah. Like, like fucking Jay-Z bought Tidal. Yeah, he nah, got, like, I can't, I can't relate. Shit. Yeah. Drake is like, yo, I got this new Benz. Yep. Like, I can get a new Benz. I could get a new Benz like, right now. Not, my wife would be saying? very upset with me. H- highly upset. But I could get one I, right listen, now. Listen, my payments would probably be uh, maybe $3,000 a month. <laughs> but... <laughs> but <laughs> I'm leaving, yeah. I'm leaving the sticker on. But listen, his shit is attainable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're, we're He's at- talking, one of his songs is talking about they're digging up the floor for the koi pond or some shit. Oh, I'm like, man. yeah. Damn, I, yeah. Could, I could call a guy right now. It's inspirational. I know somebody that can, and the has thing a is, guy. His whole shit is not like, yo, I got this and it's better than your shit. His shit is like, yo, I got this yeah. and I don't, I don't really care what you're doing. Yeah. Because I'm just doing I'm me. just doing this shit over here. People. Yeah. Check this out. See? And you know the thing is, like, are we becoming fuckboys because we can relate to Drake? I mean, I don't Probably. know. If fuckboy means like, like a nigga that's is getting like, paper fuck, out here, then yeah. fuck it. Get paper or some for the fuckboy. I'll be that. Because that's the thing. Like, you be messing with chicks and shit, but it's like once they start... That's what I'm finding about myself. Like, I can mess with a chick, but once that shit starts cutting into my money... <sighs> <sighs> See, because niggas are still there. That's the see, thing, but right? I'm saying, when you were saying a million, like, keeps confusing a million and a hundred thousand, that just rings the same way to me in my yeah, ear. If like, you bring me a hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars in cash, I'd still be like, yo! Right. Oh! Whoa, what? It would take me a minute to spend a hundred thousand. Yeah. Legally. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I know, I would... Damn, I don't even know what I would do with that. You know what I'm saying? A hundred K here. A hundred K cash. Actually, no. That's, no. that's actually not that much. It's not that... I mean, it's not that much, but in once cash? you see it in cash, you're like, yo, this is a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Because I think I just I, I just listen. I'm not gonna blow myself up. I just bought a car, mm-hmm. thirty grand. I was in the car, very you know nice saying? car, thirty grand, very well appointed navy leather, mm-hmm. all that shit, thirty grand. You know what I'm saying? Paid for that in cash and went and got one of those like bank checks or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And it was like a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, the, yeah. the dude at the bank was like, oh, well, okay, well, nigga went in the back room and all this Came shit. Came back with the shit. So it's like thirty grand is like, yo, this is a lot of money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So a hundred. You know what I mean? <sighs> Niggas, we're still there. See, that's why I don't invade the crib yet. Yeah, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Listen, I pro- I pro- listen, I promise. Just hold. Oh, I don't know why I said that to the laptop. Like, hold- yo, computer. <laughs> yo, just hold off a year. Hold off a year. The the home invasion is being so much sweeter. Yeah, that's true. But in the year, I'm not gonna be living in the Bronx. I'll be in my nice doorman building. With you, all right, <laughs> dealing with y'all niggas. <laughs> dealing with you pox. <laughs> Have the wild loft with the elevated bike on the wall that I never use, like exposed me. brick, like no <laughs> blinds, so you can see when I walk around naked. <laughs> like you have the summer crib in Jamaica, whole crib, you know what I'm saying? the block fence with the broken glass in Don't the top. Even, you're not even going to ask me for the fucking Wi-Fi code. It's going to be on a QV, whatever, <laughs> logo on the wall. Scan here. Scan that shit, ma. Yeah. But you can't scan it because my bodyguard would have taken your phone away when you signed the NDA. Nigga, I'm going to have so much money, my fucking refrigerator is going to have Instagram, nigga. Mm. All my, appli- fridge. all my appliances are going to have Wi-Fi. That's it. That's the new thing. I'm not buying this at fucking PC Richards. What? Do, 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 do. Shout, no. to, shout to Uncle Dave at PC Richards. Is that still, he's still alive? He's alive. That's a, oh, that's your uncle? Oh, yeah, no. I, I thought that was uncle. like the, the guy that, I guess that would be PC Richard. PC Richard himself? <laughs> Listen, God's working on What does PC over. stand for without Googling? PC stands for Victor Z whiny st- liberals. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> Victor Z Pitch He's not doing he's, he's letting his hair grow back I feel like So he's he's like He's feeling sexy and shit Shout out to the, girl, the shorty That keeps asking for him Yeah There's one girl on Twitter yeah. One girl on Twitter Repeatedly yeah. Repeatedly Is like Ask me about Show me Victor Show me Victor <laughs> How's Victor look I need to see a picture of Victor Victor could get the cheeks Ma let, Let's know if Victor could get the cheeks <laughs> Hashtag Victor can get the cheeks. Miro, what's the noise when you what's the noise when like you spread the fat butt apart? You spread the fat cheeks? Me? That bloop. Nasty. That's throwback. We haven't said we have not sung that in a while. Yeah. Episode Crystal 26, Waters. man. We out here we're flying, here. man. Wow. Unbelievable. We flug tuck. Flying like a fluke tuck. Yeah, yeah, flying like that's listen. That could be one of our songs. You know I'm saying. Also, apparently, I say listen mm-hmm. a lot. Like we'll be talking, I'll be like, listen. True. Well, I mean, I, this things niggas say, you know, everybody of, has something it's to part say. Of the dialect, yeah. man. Come on, what do you want? Grow up. What do you want for free? Niggas knock down the fucking roof. Niggas knock down the fucking twin towers. Come price going through the roof. Ten grand fucking week. 
<laughs> oh, man. That was a great CD. Did you ever buy the CD? I bought that CD legally because I wanted 50 Cent to win at that time. Yeah, I we, think I, I probably... I used to buy I used to buy the mixtapes, Yeah, for real. And that was a dope cover with, like, the picture of him holding a gun with the chain. Yeah. And, like, the gun was in focus, but he was out of focus. Yeah. That was a dope image. Dope. That was old school New York shit. Yeah. Old school, like... Get out to the bus through the back doors. <sighs> yeah. Oh, shout, shout shit. Shout my old NYC high school students who know what I'm talking about. What? Now, if, you know, if you're not from New York, but you've probably seen a bus. Yeah. But you know the back doors usually don't open because you're not supposed to enter through the back doors. Yeah, not. Pause. And, uh, you know, because it says that in the Bible. Unless you've been to, to, unless you took it to BBQs. <laughs> 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 Oh, a Colada, a Henny Colada should let you do a lot of. All right, um, why are we not spokesman? Yo, come on, y'all niggas are fucking up. I'm very surprised. I mean, people have reached out. BBQs or City Island? Somebody got come reached on. out or Bronx Twelve? Come have on, have us in the wild wingding Bronx Twelve commercial. Like I'm getting dressed, yeah. and then I look and I'm like, oh, it's uh, gonna rain. Oh. I just checked my New York tw- uh, my Bronx Twelve tw- weather app. Yo, me, you, and Bronx Island man. Oh, that guy's terrible. <laughs> that guy's terrible. Go YouTube Bronx Island, man, you fucking worms. But no, we were talking about this yesterday. When you, yeah. uh, Bronx High School students, if you ever used to enter the bus through That's the right. windows, mm-hmm. I went to IS 181. Shout out to right. 181. We had asbestos. Mm-hmm. But it used to be us, the 180 kids, and Truman High School students. And we wait for the 30, the 29, and the 28. <sighs> Three buses were sticked. And, but when the 30 came, nigga, woo. Oh, man. Woo, we used to steal the mirror on the back of the bus. Oh, uh, drive it Break tight. the doors, drive go in through tight. the window, drive be tight, drive it, pull it aside, put the bus out of service. Yo. Bus ain't going nowhere till I get my mirror back. Low key, I, this gen- our generation, that 90s high school kids generation is the reason why if you fuck up a bus driver, that shit is a felony. Felony now, now yeah. Now it's a felony, you're doing seven joints. Yep. <laughs> so I remember I was on the bus and someone was getting off and they turned around, had a fistful of pennies and mm. threw it. Wow, Brazy into the bus driver's wow. face. And he pulled that bus to the side, turned it off, and chased them through Eden Wall Projects. Damn. And he came back, and he was all out of breath and sweaty. And this lady was like, did you catch him? And he was like, do you see blood on my hands? <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like, sir, can we just go home? Can I start, please? Try to get to, try to get out of here. Steal the, bu- steal the transfers? Oh, Whoa. man. Oh, God. Whoa. Oh. Damn, when the motherfuckers had them shits on a manual roll that it wasn't like electric. Oh yeah. boy! But now they got like the safety cage on the yeah. So now, now the bus driver can talk wild illy to you yeah. through the loudspeaker shit. Yeah. Like this is not just stop. <laughs> Please move to the back of the bus so everyone can have space. Please do not open the rear windows. Shout out to the emergency exit rear windows. That if once you open it, they should just flap they up and flap down on a turn. <laughs> and just everyone closes like pow, pow, pow. <laughs> That and those seats on the train, yeah. those fake seats. Yo, because they're like, listen, who designed that? I don't it's just know. Like a, nigga, the first time I got up off that you shit, I thought so I was getting clapped. You at. think so? Shooting at you. <laughs> that seat closes like, pow. You're like, oh, oh, whoa. shit, damn. They're ducking. ISIS. Uh, yo. Anytime I, hear, anytime I hear a loud noise in the subway, my no. ISIS. I, listen, rational would be like, that might be a ladder. Maybe they're doing me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right off the rip. This is ISIS. I Terrorist. have to push over this baby carriage and get the fuck out this <laughs> there. Get out the station. Fam. Real true story. If some shit went down on a train, I'm doing some Jack Bauer shit. I'm sorry. I got have to. You know what I'm saying? I got to survive. I got to feed my kids. I'm jumping out the roof of this shit. I played enough Subway Surfer on my iPhone. I just love... I love like the, I, I love the idea of like ISIS is hostage to your trade car. Like everyone go, every, death to America. Everyone get on the floor. And like you jump at him and just tear your ACL and don't really make it. And like you're on the floor in front of him, just like in mad pain. Like ah, ah damn son, ah. fuck. <laughs> And Fuck! Just, yo, help me up, bro. <laughs> yo, damn! Nigga, you just I, ah, tore my shit. Ah, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, chill, chill, chill. Ah, yo, go my wallet. My insurance card is in there. Ah, 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 ah. No, I don't got Uber, nigga. Damn! I. It sounds like someone kicked you in the back of your leg. <laughs> Yeah. I'm filming it and I'm like, yo, it's like gonna happen because I'm three minutes in. And I don't got space on my phone like that. <laughs> Nah, yeah. but there's gonna be seen in New York undercover reboot where That's we right. have to fight ISIS uh-huh. on the fucking subway. We're getting this shit made. This shit, this shit, we gonna bring this shit up every week. Yeah, this shit is gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna get these fucking checks. <laughs> I don't care if this shit has to be on centric. <laughs> okay. Damn, so <laughs> this shit gonna come. Still this shit gonna come on after the Black Enterprise the Eyes on America. <laughs> Today's Black Leadership at three o'clock. Yeah. Hosted by Tiki Jenkins. Shout out to those shows that like nobody watches but have been on the air for eighty thousand years. Eighty years. You know what I'm saying? I know I've made it 
when I'm on a show and I'm also listed on the back page of Jet Magazine. Oh. Which, by the way, I don't... <sighs> you know what? A lot of people don't realize. Here's a hot take. Jet Magazine is smaller than other magazines because when it was first started, white people would only give us so much amount of paper. Oh, And we've just shit. always printed it like that. What? So when you see a small Jet Magazine, you feel bad. Respect it. Respect it. Respect it. Don't put shout, soap opera digest in front of it. Don't disrespect. And shout out to your barbershop that has the latest issue of Jet is like from 2000 and maybe 14. Am I bugging or does Jet have a portion that's like newspaper-ish paper? Or is it all glossy? It's all glossy. It's all glossy? It's yeah. all small glossy. It's like a playbill or... The funeral manual for a drug dealer. Okay. So, not manual, <laughs> like the funeral book. What, is, what do you call that? Is it a prayer book? Pray, uh, hymnal? What's it? A guidebook? Guidebook? I don't know. This is you with like the songs in it and the prayers. The and songs stuff? and like the the badly scanned photos. Of homie, yeah. Of homie yeah, yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. And they're not like, they're not photos he would have picked if he was still alive, but nah. that's the pic, photos yeah. his mother picked. He's like, yo, it's him when he was five. Yo, I got these naked all, on the beach. Nothing's worse. You go to someone's funeral and all their photos are just like their fucking Instagram. <sighs> They're damn. like, yo, damn, I like this they one. They didn't even crop out the likes. The she like, got 17 <laughs> likes. She got a regram watermark <laughs> on the side. <laughs> damn. Damn. Damn, this shorty died. He's fucking her with a dog filter face. Oh, shit. Like, why you gonna do, don't do that. Yo. That's gonna happen in the yo, future. shout out to anyone who's going to a funeral and shorty had the fucking flower ring on the head. That's way too <laughs> On the mask card. That's way too Chill. young. Damn. <laughs> Life is cheap. Yo, for real. Don't disrespect Six my legacy world. like that. Oh fucking yo! Make sure yo listen. I'm, I'm depending on you, two niggas, and Heather. Don't let people put Snapchat filters on my face when Will I die. die? Fam. Don't. No, let I'm definitely do gonna it. do it. <laughs> I'm definitely doing it now. They can do the super saiyan shit. Like, ah! I'm gonna put the fucking car and Jordan shit on you. You gonna be in your casket? He's <laughs> like, where, yeah. where? No, like how? How about like how? We had no technology for, to do this maybe two years ago. For real. Now we have all... The, two years ago, if you want to do a face swap, it literally it literally took what happened in the movie Face Off. Dog. You had to cut your face <laughs> off with a knife to swap <laughs> your face. And now Snapchat is like, yo, we can yo. do it with your phone effortlessly. And it oh, looks... Yeah. It looks realistic, like oh, Hollywood. Oh, yeah. Oh, you don't have another person? Fuck yeah. it. Just scan a picture. Okay, yeah. NSA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm pretty sure Eric Snowden warned us about this. Yeah. And we're just all scanning our faces, and it's just not it's You know not what cool. I thought about that? I thought about that as well, but I was like, well, you know what? I got mugshots, so I'm already, I've already already been fingerprinted. I'm already in the system. What, who cares? Also, this is another hot take. Fuego take. Put the flames down. <laughs> All those D uh, DNA testings to find out your family background, like 23andMe and all that shit. Absolutely. All that government. shit is building a database of Absolutely. your genetic thing. And then when we switch over to biometric security and we have to use like DNA and shit oh, to log God. in the shit, you guys are fucked. Because oh, you don't man. know where these little shits are going. Like, what if Yahoo just buys this company? Now, <laughs> Yahoo owns everything. They own your DNA. Uh, Yahoo owns you. Damn. Did you know that? Did you click the terms of service? Damn. Did you guys you watch the Minority shit? Report? Damn. Oh, man. I thought Minority Report was like about fucking racism and shit. Oh. I don't know. It was a future movie. That was a weird. That was a weird title for it. Yeah, right. Yeah. I th I was like, what is this? Okay. Uh, what the fuck is okay. this? I was like, is this a, a Daily Show sketch? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so yeah, don't get yourself genetically tested. You don't need to know if there's white people in your family. There probably is. We're they all from is. Pangea or yeah. some shit. Like you know, you know what I'm saying. That's just a scam. That's rich nigga shit too. Yeah. When you start talking Pangea, that's definitely like Jada Smith. I got bread levels. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, yo, you're from this part of Africa. Like, listen. Set, put, put, listen, cut your cut your tongue, put it on some tissue, mail it to me. I will send you back a report of your genetic background. You know what's going to be fucking sick? When we get back to the office and there's 16 envelopes with bloody tissue Tur in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not opening them. That's what we got interned for. And I'm just going to make up shit. I'm be like, yo, you're from Botswana. <laughs> 43% of your, fa your family from Papua New Guinea. Niggas going to spit a globe and be like, beep. <laughs> you are from wow. Venezuela. Your family's from Antarctica. Wow, did you booty? How do you say this? <laughs> wow. <laughs> your father was King of Chad. Oh. Ch is that the, what show is that? Chad remember Chad? King of Chad Chad Chad, Chad Hadad? Chico. Chad Hadad? What you think? What? Dad? Never mind. I don't know what you're talking about. Somebody's gonna jump in the mentions and be like, yo, I know exactly, I know exactly what you're talking about. about. That's why I respect the Bodega Hive. They're knowledgeable on several subjects. Yeah. Like Bodegas and Taylor Swift. What sneakers were those? Which ones just a while? Those are uh, Steph Curry's again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, those are the Raph Simmons. Oh, Raph Simmons. Is it Simmons or Simons? It's Simmons, right? Simmons. All right. Come on, Shut man. Up. You can't. Be we're from the Bronx, but we, we're getting to the point where we have to pronounce shit properly. <laughs> they coming from me. Coming from, I was about to say, you like, wow, I mean? for real? Okay. Yeah, nah, shit is serious now. Ticker told me that. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh shit, man! Yo, it's been episode twenty six. That's been, right. We touched on a number of subjects. We touched on everything. We touched on whoa, 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 numerology. Whoa, whoa. Let's slow down there. Okay, it's episode twenty six. That's right. We spoke on several topics. I don't uh-huh. want a vocal sample of me saying "touched on." Oh. That you guys are going to remix oh, yeah, into no. sort of pedophilia on YouTube because y'all know you're going to set up the guy because we're flying oh. too high and the brand's too uh, strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to set me up and be like, "These are touch them kids." Touch and we have the press conference, yeah. and you know I didn't touch those kids. Here come the memes. Right. I already hear the New Jersey remix. Touch, touch, touch. Touch, 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 Hey! <laughs> Yo, it's your boy Jesus Nice, aka Young Chipotle, aka Pocket State Fat Like Terrio, aka Chris Stats Poor Sling, dude, aka Butchers Butchers Gully, aka Slow But I Might Know That's You, right. bitch, aka That's Eli right. Lippy, aka Young Green, <laughs> Young Jay Party, <laughs> Jesus H. Fuego, aka Mil Nova Center, and I went back, Guato, and Nova York. <laughs> Yo, that's right. This is your boy, the Kid Mero, a.k.a. the Human Durag Flap, a.k.a. East Stream on Stevie B, a.k.a. Field the Ass Tyson, a.k.a. Bitten Smack Be on Bow, nigga. Be on you know what I'm saying? East Stream out, stand up, BX, we out here, both take a in the building, holla, pow. Shout out to all the sponsors, K2, Zika, what? Isis, Whoa. Narcan, Open Dumb Remedy, Whoa. Heather's Choach, and always Whoa. Red Bull and Red Bull Studios at 220 <laughs> West 18th Street. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Thank you for the crisp audio quality, that's the right. beers, and a place to get the fire art off. Shouts right. to the Bodega Hive, and uh, shouts to Beyonce. <laughs> That's right. Follow them on social media at RB Studios and Y. And follow us at Bodega Boys That's on right. Twitter, on Instagram, Bye. and on uh, on uh, Rumble. Yeah. Pow, pow. All right. Me and when you see us on the streets, approach sideways. That's right. Like a bear. <laughs> Run up and get done up, my nigga. <laughs> we out. <laughs>